wouldn't even say that we were ad hoc, to be fair. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. We, was, we was actually very fucking organised for right. a set of crews so young, because we, we were young at these times. We were doing a fucking hell of a lot of damage. Yeah, we, yeah. Was, we was really clocking up some fucking paint. <laughs> KillerKellerOfficial.com THTC, the UK's leading ethical streetwear label. Organically grown and ethically built garments from hemp, organic cotton and other sustainable materials. 2019 is their 20th anniversary year. Join me with THTC as a Killer Keller podcast sponsor celebrating music, social activism, hemp and street culture. THTC, eco-fashion redefined since 1999. Beatbox created. Killer Keller. We're here to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller Podcast. Right, we on, we're rolling. Dings, kids in the pool. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a Killer Keller Podcast. Pointing to you live and direct. Central London yeah. or Central as you should be, could be or need to be. Big shout out to Graffiti Kings. Definitely in full effect. we got a crew in the house. Say what's up, people. What's up, dude? Yeah, <laughs> that's it. And without further ado, allow me to introduce you back for the, for the first time. The man... <laughs> DDS's finest, Kistra. What are you saying, Cuzzy? What's happening? <laughs> nice to see you again, <laughs> yeah, yeah. How are you? It's been a couple of times now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. For Thanks our... for having me again. <laughs> <laughs> for our sins, isn't yes, it? Yes, exactly. Agreed, agreed. I do feel <laughs> like sins. I've developed a good friendship with you, my brother. It's, uh, you're... Same. <laughs> Very much so. I think from the first five minutes of chatting with you, I was like, yeah, I'm keeping him as my pal. <laughs> I'm having not, him. <laughs> not, not to mention a couple of beers. You know, it kind of breaks all ice and before yeah, you know it. I think it broke off the planet. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a debauchery of many different levels and next good experience. fun yeah, <laughs> definitely worth yeah, it for real you're south boy aren't you yourself i am i am yes as oh. we've uh, said before elephant and castle for That's me it. have you ever you, but you yeah elephant and castle originally mm. Mm. Uh, why did i get the impression you used to you used to roll down kent didn't you, you used to, 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 to do um, yeah i lived out there for um for three four years three maybe years? no four four years gotcha. from age of oh christ fuck uh 13 to about 17. How was that for you? Give or take. Oh, it was all right. Got into a boatload of trouble with my little gang. <laughs> we was little terrors, yeah. Two we of don't us advocate anything like that terror. on this podcast, not at all. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean. Um, no, just growing pains really, isn't it? There's yeah. a little group of us, eight of us, all very good friends, still yeah. are to this day, and we'd knock for each other and go out and yeah. do what we wanted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah isn't go. that the way, though? No, it? it is, yeah, yeah. So um, good Good growing times. Yeah. Wild camping, stealing sausages to cook on, yeah. nicked barbecues yeah. on rooftops, yeah. <laughs> creeping, creeping through warehouses. Shit's <laughs> wasted on the youth, isn't it? If you could do yeah, that yeah. now, eh? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They've got screens indoors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're happy. Yeah. Like, fuck all that. Go outside. Go and <laughs> break your leg, <laughs> literally. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go outside and do something. Yeah, kid. yeah, exactly. Learn your... <laughs> ch- cut your chops on real... Yeah, exactly. Fun, outdoor life literally. shit, Literally, you know? yeah. Um, <laughs> for those of you who don't know about the Kistra, <laughs> the man is... Uh, he's a one man. You are. It's, it's a very Mission Impossible, with the way I interpret, especially <clears throat> through conversations in the past. Yeah. It's, a, it's a one man Mission Impossible operation when it comes to you and in retrospect with, mm. with graffiti and what mm. it meant to you back in the day, mm. wasn't it? But where did it all begin? How did, how did, how did it all start? Um, good question. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I never essentially was into graffiti, but my schoolmates were. <laughs> oh, um, it was Kelsa, Skin, uh, Mina, my best mate. I can't remember what he used to write then. I was thinking about it the other day, but he writes Kiro now. But back then, I can't remember what the fuck he wrote, but he had a nice hand style. So I just pinched their letters. Like, I just kept watching them draw on school books, school bags, writing all over the fucking school. And um, I thought, well, let me get a little name. I'll have a little go at that. <laughs> so um, I took um, Kelsa's K. I took uh, Skin's S. I don't know where I got my T from. And I popped an eye in there. It's an easy letter, yeah. easy letter. And I thought, well, that kind of works. So yeah. that's how I come up with my name. But that was, um, even then, I wasn't, I wasn't a school vandal mm. or a mm. bus vandal or mm. a train vandal or a trackside rooftop vandal. I was just a kid that copied the others, basically. You um, were, you were quite, you were quite. Uh, you, it appears to me that you were mm. into it, and the the, the logical progression. From the start, doing mm. it as a kid and then moving onwards and upwards, you kind of cut. You weren't up and doing it all over like shop and trains mm. and buses, etc., like you say, but you, that gave Not you like. When, 
gave you a window to like develop your Oh, yeah, no, absolutely. Thing. Yeah. Um, oh, my boy, um, Ems, he was probably a bit more progressed into graffiti mm. than we were. He knew the um, website, or Digital Jungle. Yeah. He knew I, I couldn't even log on to a fucking computer then. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> show me this website, Tim. <laughs> so he's still like that, that now, bro. Yeah. <laughs> good old Digital Jungle. That was a very good I'm website. Tight. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Jesus. it was a good one, innit? It's still done sick the now. City top ten and mm. shit like that. Fuck. Love it. Um, so he started showing me bits, a couple of magazines. Um, we had a subway out in the library. So I think was the first one to show me that. But I didn't really have an interest in Subway. It was all fucking America from the 80s. Mm. So at that stage, I didn't understand the histories and yeah. shit like that. My knowledge of that come a little bit later. But he started showing me a few bits on Bob's. Mm. And um, I never bunked off school at mm. all. I was relatively good at school. Good but, man, um, good man. That's what we like to hear. <laughs> yeah, stay yeah. at school, Inf kids. Yeah, stay at school, influence yeah. your kids. Smoke proper. your weed in the park, go back to class. That's right. G you know, develop your bad boy image in the school. That's the <laughs> yeah, truth. That's what you do it. That's why Everyone's you're at school. Do it. What are you going to fucking do outside on your own? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't run out of school too quickly, guys. It's <laughs> shit. Trust yeah, me. trust me. Real life. <laughs> Real life. Um, nothing was like, uh, we'll beat that. Yeah. Um, it was like, come on, I'll t show you something. So yeah. we bunked off... Um, not even the whole day, we've done half day, went up to London Bridge yeah. and um, there was a lot of FDC up there. These was times. it? Yeah, a lot of FDC. The FDC were real, pro like, they, they, it doesn't go amiss on this podcast mm. how influential they were for a lot of South. South oh Rose. yeah, for, for South, definitely. They mm. were probably only just behind your DDSs and things like that. thousand percent. So yeah. yeah, they were fucking everywhere. They were everywhere. All of them were, at that time, all of them were active. Yeah, yeah. Like heavy duty Battering, active. Yeah. yeah, yeah, the whole crew. I mean, it's such a license. It's so good to see because they all had different styles. Mm, mm. That ninety style was it? Oh yeah, but, yeah, yeah. It is that that. Oh, how can you explain the style? Mm. Just clean, clean, clear, nice, clean letters. Bubbly, fuck thick. load of fuck load of colours. Yeah, you know what I mean, like Zone really yeah. had the style down for FDC. Mm. Yeah, for real. And so, so was up there as well. Like, oh yeah, so oh, yeah, 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 yeah. like, very, very good. I just wait to see it. Just oh my god, Dyer fucking yeah, smashed God rest him. him. Yeah, for <laughs> real. Boy, I'm super missed. Super yeah, no, missed. he is very much so. Very yeah. I remember the last day I see him. Um, so yeah, we went out bunking mm. a day off school or half day mm. and see all this fucking graph at London Bridge. And I think it was at that time I thought, Do you know what? I, yeah, I'll kind I can't have a piece of this. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So I, I committed literally mm. on that day. Mm. I was like, fuck it, I'm going to be a writer. Mm. That's, um, this is my job. That's what, yeah, 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 it's my job. And what did so. what defined that, that job? What was the job role that you... Job uh, role, the job spec. Yeah, uh, job what was description. The, yeah, what was, um, what was the mission brief? There you go. What was the mission brief? Yeah, mission brief. Yeah, very good. Um, go to school Monday to Friday. Mm. On the way home from school, jump off uh, Old Kent Road, mm. uh, b and yeah. Rack whatever there was to take, take that, go and mm -hmm. stock. I'd stock up through the week. Yeah. So if I had a bit of time to get to B&Q after school, then I was getting my paint, nice. stock up for a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Wow. Um, during the days, once it was off Friday, um, me, Case, Riffs, Bracco, Scheme, mm. Defy, Uno, Rello, basically CLS and PS. So we'd link up on a Friday at New Cross. Mm on the platform, and then we'd just fucking head out. We'd go from about eight in the evening till eight in the morning, mm. get some trains, get fucking 10 dubs and we'll fuck off home. Mm. Saturday, get up, go racking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, go and get more paint because you need it. Eat, Saturday eat night, sleep, paint, repeat. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly that. Uh, <laughs> Saturday night, we'd do a mission. Um, everyone would generally be around, but if there was something I wanted to catch, then I didn't fucking ring anyone. Really? I'd go and do my own spots, get them done. Yeah, you see, I always, and this is the thing, it's like, I know, of course, you, you rolled with different people, but mm. there was something solo about what you did. Mm. I always felt like you were on your own, you mm. had your own thing. Yeah. Maybe there was a discipline that you did with what you're saying there. You just had mm. a rhythm in the way you worked and where everyone else was a little bit more ad hoc, they just fucking yeah, fly away. Yeah, well, I wouldn't even say that we were ad hoc, to be fair, do you know what I mean? Yeah. We, was, we was actually very fucking organised for right. a set of crews so young, because we, we were young these times, we were doing a fucking hell of a lot of damage. Yeah, we, yeah. Was, we was really clocking up some fucking painting hours. Yeah. But, um, yeah, naturally, I'm an individual painter. Yeah. There's, I don't have to think about you, I ain't got to watch you fucking die or mm. trip over. If it comes on top, I haven't got to fucking wait for you mm. or tell you where to run. Mm. All that shit, it's mm. on me. Plus, I can get more done. Mm. And I can climb better than 
having to watch some fucking div trying to climb a wall like hurry up like I want to pay this spot yeah, yeah, yeah. plus I can get the spots that I want yeah. sometimes you see something you might go out five of you you go and move around and someone's painting in the spot you've been looking at for a month mm, just, mm, I, yeah. I should have come on my own god damn it <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. giving away so, your spots yeah I'm not ringing the boys tonight <laughs> like, I've got a couple bits I want to collect <laughs> yeah, so, no I feel that I, no, and I, I, I think I'm kind of like mm. like even as a performer and an artist like mm. It's it's actually weird to collaborate. No, not collaborate. Actually, it's mm. weird to think to have some one more person than you <laughs> being in control. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Sometimes it's nice to have that self control to your own. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I think it's um, there's a responsibility factor as well yeah. because if you're um, like legitimately, if you are out painting, it can be fucking dangerous. Mm. Like, we know how many fucking of us are dead. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, God yeah. rest all of them. Which is, I think, is something that needs to be highlighted, you know, because mm. although we talk about the glorious times of, yeah. you know, an, an era, it, mm. it's still there is There is a, a danger, danger to the... Yeah, yeah it's, it's a danger sport. Do you know what I mean? There's some of the fucking tragedies that we've happened. Some of them... Mm. Some of the dead writers aren't dead because of graf, but some of them are dead because of graf have died in fucking shitty situations. Yeah. Some of them being drunk, high, things like that. Mm. And then there's people that haven't been that are on point, aware of their surroundings, and mm. have just got it wrong, and the mm. train's fucking hit them. Mm -hmm. there, there's, like, it's just fucking shit. It is, uh, for want of a better statement, it is part of the beast it's the nature of the beast be fucking careful mm. go home dead <laughs> yeah, yeah. do you know what I mean or don't go home do how, much I mean? that, how much does that play on your mind you know thinking back in the day <clears> to <throat> all the risks that you'd taken you know do, do, does that play on your mind does it play on your mind ever? no I wouldn't say it doesn't it doesn't play on my mind to be fair because uh, I'm responsible to mm. be fair I won't paint drunk I will not paint high um, if I am out on a mission and someone's drunk, I've, I've told people, fuck off, go home or do your own thing. Really, you've had y to be... Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be that guy. <clears throat> I'm afraid. I don't mm. want to fucking... I'm not ringing your mum and saying that, yeah, we was out doing graph and he was drunk and this happened. I'm mm. never making any of those types of calls. Yeah. Come out sober, do the job, and then we go get smashed afterwards. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Just yeah. have a bit of fucking self-care about it. I totally I mean? and utterly respect that. So, and there's something so <clears throat> important, you know, to... Mm. Um, from, moving on slightly, because I think... I don't think I've ever asked anybody this mm. but I think because you started so young and you're actually of a, a young age yourself you mm. can probably you can probably answer this a little bit more clearer mm. um when Excuse it me. when do you know <clears throat> just through re repetition 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 that the heat is building like when you as an individual when mm. do you know at, at an early age when you're like oh shit I think actually this is starting to get a bit that's a fucking good question hot. you know you know this Fuck, is starting to happen um, this is starting to pop for like... Yeah, no, that, that is a good question. Um, fuck, because I've felt that a couple of times, you know. Mm. Um, I think you kind of register it yourself when you know you're out doing damage. If you're in the tunnels mm. or doing a fucking boatload of tubes, you know, you know that they're getting watched. Mm. And I think in terms of actually feeling it build up... Um, you just kind of know that you're doing a lot of fucking damage and they're not letting it slide because mm. you're out four times a week. They don't, they don't, at that time, they didn't have the resources or manpower to keep up with 10 of us mm. that are doing 10 fucking trains three times a week, shit like that. Mm. There's no, or 10 panels three times a week. You can't actually keep up mm. with us. So their job is to fucking record it and they've got to go backwards to start working out who we are how we're fucking painting so much X, mm. Y, Z. But I think in terms of I'm realising that it is fucking getting hot, um, you kind of just feel it. <laughs> it's a hard one to explain, but I remember... Does that make um, you anxious? Did it make you anxious? Do you feel like, fuck, it's getting hot now? Uh, it didn't... Oh, I wouldn't say anxious, but... I can't think of a better word for it, but... Yeah, no, you know I understand I'm what you're saying. Yeah, I think... Um, well, specifically, me and Case were doing quite a lot mm. we were doing a lot actually um we got bagged for putney helicopter fucking under the train wow. all this fucking shit it just fucking it come on top it went off yeah 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 it, it actually fucking went off they were driving through that bit of like green at parsons oh no it's pa parsons green sorry right. they were driving on the grass like weaving through the trees in the fucking police car and i thought fuck me like we need to get out of this one. Like, we're, yeah, out of yeah, 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 this is a bit fucking long. So we got 
but I think Case might have got away with that. I don't know. I can't actually remember. I know that I got nicked, 100%. Sounds like it was a long time ago. Oh, Christ. Mm. Oh, two, oh, I'll push 202. Yeah. Weren't 203 or 4. 202, we'll say. Yeah. Definitely weren't 201. But so, that's yeah, kind 202 of just, or 203. That's when I remember you. That's when I really yeah. felt like you were... Because although you merge... In, stylistically, mm. you merge with, like, a late 90s thing. I definitely mm. remember... Because I remember, like, touring and, mm. so, and having to go... The Parsons Green and all that kind of area, I remember... Which I'll come back to. Yeah, because, you know, because I used to have to go to Sony BMG record label where Mm. I was signed to, and I'd be on the train. Mm. And that was 2003, 2004. So so I knew that you were doing stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, But with that, as I was saying, so um, I got bagged, and um, Spencer and Taylor, these old BTs, they they bagged everyone. I never thought they would get him. Oh, out. I've heard of these guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They were they were prolific. They, they were on like, it, yeah. yeah, one of them was a fuck. He just wanted to get right. Yeah, like, yeah. He was a he was a right hunter. That's what he was. He was a right hunter. Wow. But, um, <laughs> Whoa, <that's so laughs> yeah, cool. no, he was. He was for real. I, it, even when when they, they were crocodile uh, hunter. Yeah, when when they interviewed me. I was quite astounded that they'd got me. I thought, even this is part of the business. Like Spencer, yeah. Spencer and Taylor have got me. But um, I can't remember which ones. Which. You're like, can I have your autograph? Yeah. <laughs> one of them like... always wore a football shirt. Wow. I remember he had, a, he had an AC Milan shirt on. No but way. then he threw the file down. He went, go on, you can have... No, I asked him. I was like, can I have a look through that? So I'm flicking through and I thought, oh, 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 they've got loads of stuff. Like, I'm, really? I'm, I'm in trouble here. But um, Really, really, yeah, really? Yeah, so yeah I was 17, so... Being um, a, a, me, bro. a minor, effectively, but I got bail. Um, we carried on painting, me and Case specifically, and I, f- I think we was going to do a yard. We was doing something. I just said, babe, I'm going to take a fucking back seat for a minute. I'm going to let it cool off. Mm. Literally, that that is how much of the heat I felt. Obviously, I'm on bail for graft, so I'll, I'll keep painting. That doesn't mm. bother me. But getting caught whilst on bail for a fucking boatload of fucking steel, that wouldn't have gone down well. So I took a back seat. I think less than six months, a year later, Case was in jail for graph. So, mate, you, wow. we could feel it was wow. a boiling pot. Wow. Yeah. But we was out every fucking night for, we was out every night for like, fuck, 12 months minimum. I was out every night for two years. But I'm not feeling for you now. I'm like, fuck, that just sounds like a, such a harrowing fucking time. And then no, it's it fucking sick. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, me just about to put do. the kettle on for him. And he, he, <laughs> but you know, like, it's it, it's interesting, isn't it? Like the freedom that Graf gives you and then all of a sudden mm. the walls start closing in on mm. on a situation. That's that Yeah, a... you could say. But at the end of the day, I mean, it's fucking graffiti. Do you yeah. know what I mean? I haven't fucking... Killed no one. I haven't mm. robbed anyone. Yeah. I haven't fucking. There is serious violent crime out there. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So don't fucking. You can nick me for graft, but I'll tell you exactly what I think. Mm. And you can charge me for it. Mm. I don't give a fuck. Mm. I'm not. There is a million things that we could, could be doing that be yeah. ten times worse. Which sure. Some of us are built for it. Some of us ain't. But yeah. we're not fucking antagonizing people no. as such. Like we're going out. And, mm. It's a freedom of thought and expression. Yeah. So don't get me wrong. There's the criminal damage effect, which is my kicker. That's mm. what I enjoy. So I'm going to go vandalise some mm-hmm. shit. I'm getting up and that. But in real terms, don't harass me for doing a bit of fucking graft mm. when there is fucking rapist kid, kid killers, big pedophiles, yeah, yeah. all that shit out there. And you want to pay extra special attention to us. Like, you can fuck off with that. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, go, go and do your job, yeah, yeah. basically. Yeah, there yeah. is some real... Real animals you for should sure. be looking for. For sure. Not a fucking bunch of writers. For sure. Do you know what I mean? And, and I, I tell you what, I've been watching this thing. By the way, this is all in retrospect. You know, yeah. this is this is documentation <clears throat> of, it, of the highest calibre from uh, from my guy. Um, <laughs> Safe. But, but <laughs> you know, uh, you know uh, Safe. an analogy Safe that springs that. to mind is mm. I've been watching this uh, doc on Netflix about the mafia in New York. Mm. I don't know if you know about this one. It's, 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 I'll get the name. I'll put it in the comments. What, and, Fear, Fear City? Yeah, Fear City. Yeah, yeah, Fear yeah. City. And I'll wait they, for it to come out. It was all right. Yeah. It was all right. Sold it, it's rehashed old information. Oh, yeah, exactly. But it was good. It yeah, was yeah. good. But I'm, I'm, I'm watching, I'm getting into mm. it, and there's a few nuggets of gold that I'm picking up, and mm. I'm like, yeah, like cat and mouse kind of thing. It's like, they mm. know who they are. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. And it, <coughs> and it mm. is a, it, it's, it's that, mm. it's the, it is the cowboys and Indians. It's the, Chase and the thrill. Mm. It's the. It's a. I think that's what artists gravitate to. Yeah, there, with graph. there, there is. Uh, yeah, with graffiti, it is definitely a mafioso definitely that. sort of like <laughs> cat and mouse kind of thing, right? Yeah, um, well, not quite a mafioso thing, well, but it's definitely. You know what I'm saying? Though. Yeah, I know, I know. You know, without being, uh, yeah, um, maybe I'm dramatizing. You know what I'm saying? It is a cat and mouse situation. Yeah. They, um, 
They definitely know who we are. Yeah. We know that they're the British Transport Police specifically that are looking for us. Then there's the heads of Graf Squad, fucking Spencer and Taylor back in the day for me mm. and the rest of it. I mm. um, guess you've got to stay one step ahead, mm. i.e. don't have any content, material, mm. flicks, definitely no flicks, outlines and shit like that mm. in your yard. The start. So when they do actually catch you and raid you, then you can kind of, you've half won the battle saying, well, fucking prove it. Mm. So I mean, you've got to actually prove it. <laughs> like, that's, yeah. that, that helps with the cat and mouse chase. Um, not being too fucking loud. Like, don't go paint the same yard fucking ten times in two months and mm. shit like that. Mm. Like, there's a whole of London. Spread the love. Like, <laughs> go and paint that yard and paint this yard and keep them on their toes yeah. a bit. Like, yeah. but eventually they are. If you keep painting fucking tubes, they're coming through the door. Like, yeah, they're coming eventually for you. they are gonna fucking work it out and they do come through the door. Uh, like, uh, yeah, they fucking trashed my nan's gaff the first time. Really? Fucked it up. Really? Fuck, yeah, fuck the whole yard. We got like fucking. On the old Asbury estate, fucking three bed, four floor flat, they fucking turn everything over. And as I understood, you can only fucking raid my room, not the whole fucking yard. Like, I got my lawyers onto it, the whole fucking shit. I was like, trash my fucking nan's yard. Like, who do you think you are? All that shit. They didn't find a fucking thing, to right. be fair, which helped. But then the second time, they nicked me, and this was Spencer and Taylor. They said, oh, yeah, so we're going to raid your fucking house. I was like, D you fucking. Do it properly. Mm. Put everything, you pick something up, you put it back down. You open a drawer, you move shit around, you put it back, you close the drawer. Mm. Like, you told them that directly? Yeah, fucking, fucking yeah, right I did. Yeah, you yeah. trashed my nan's yard one time. Yeah. So I mean, she was none too happy about it. Mm, of course. So I told this time, like, you better do it properly. Don't fucking take liberties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, which they didn't, to be mm. fair. And um, they didn't find anything again, which was... Mm. bonus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Always helps. <laughs> oh, mate, Always it just helps. sounds to me, I mean... It's, it's it's there's two worlds that, and we all know this from the podcast is there's there's one side of graph and then there's another side of graph and it's so crazy to hear that other side the mm. the, the illegality is and the, the what you go through emotionally what happens in the mm. that process is I don't think actually we got that deep in it like that with, with podcasts before this is it's a really mm. good fucking podcast yeah man it's, <laughs> it's fucking great so but it's, are, it's a fucking illegal sport isn't it yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> Oh, straight yeah, up. Yeah. It is, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, there's a lot of fucking unillegal stuff, you know. There's mm. Wicked Hall of Fames and there's mm. people doing yeah, it. Yeah, like that. Are, you know, legal, I mean, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. And you're recognised throughout. Like, you're one of those kind of characters that... Uh, I think I think you're there's an identity to what you, you created. And mm. uh, and like you say, you, you were active and moving. How mm. did you get... How did the DDS thing come about? Like, I mean, because that was, an, that was <clears> another... <throat> Pivotal moment, wasn't oh, it? Oh, yeah, fucking, mm. most definitely. I still fucking love the fact I'm in the crew. Yeah, do you know yeah. what I mean? I've got other crews that essentially mean more to me, yeah. i.e. CLS, Mood put me in that. Uh, PS means more to me. Uh, Defy put me in that. It's his crew, and then he put me in, so it was our crew. We've made that clear. Crazy. It like, it's ours, and that was fucking... Again, that must have been... That's like 2,000 or mm. something. Like two, two, yeah, that's like 2 fucking thousand. Mm. But, um, oh, wow. yeah, I did specifically want to be in DDS and DTB. And uh, I was doing enough damage. I was out fucking every night for, like, 18 months. I mean, every every night, wow. school nights, the lot. So I'd go out, paint, come home, shower, get on the bus to school, and I'd sleep through the first two lessons. Like, my teachers knew what I was up to, and I'd sleep through French. <laughs> I wouldn't sleep through English because Mr. Hayes would have none of that. Like, <laughs> yeah, he's like he's just, he was a good, good teacher, but very strict. So I never fucked yeah. around with that. Yeah. And I think it was one of my IT classes or fucking cookery or some dumb <laughs> shit. Like, I'm yeah. catching some sleep. Like, just I'm gonna burning go the oven over the corner. Yeah, right? yeah. exactly. <laughs> so, um, no, I was out doing enough. Like, I was, I was fucking, I was, I was getting up. I felt that I was getting up because people started recognizing who I was and things like that. I could hear my own name Ooh, and stuff well, like that. Mad. And um, I was out around Christmas time, just after Christmas, with um, DDS boys. Uh, Sub, Bosch, Mesk was out, Zom was out. Ah, oh, mate, there was, there was like eight or ten of us. Wow. But I can't exactly remember. But I ended up in a carriage with Sub and Bosch. So they're sitting opposite me. I'm sitting on this side, and I'm just thinking, "Fuck me, like this is a lot." <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like sub DDS, Bosch DDS, yeah, like yeah. fucking the the boys. The boys yeah. So um, Bosch is like whispering subs in, and subs looking at me. 
I'm thinking, all right, whatever, do what you're doing. You're probably having some grown man chat. Like, yeah, they're, yeah. they're big boys. Right? They're grown men. I'm 17 at the time. And um, Bosch leans over. He's like, so yeah, uh, we've had a little bit of a uh, discussion. We're going to put you in DDS. And I was like, what? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. fucking for real. Like, fucking, whoa, whoa, whoa. yeah, yeah, no, it's fucking, it was mind blowing. I couldn't fucking believe it. Yeah. Like, I literally went tick. That that was like the major yeah. goal of me doing gloves. I'm like, yeah. chink, I've, I've yeah. done that. Yeah. That was a very nice thing to, <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, that was one of the accomplishments course, I was yeah. aiming for. So, um, what happens when you get to that peak where you're just like, that's your, that's your, you know, tip of the iceberg? That's your, moment like yeah, where do you go after that it's yeah, like no, I, wow that weren't even my moment to be fair because really? I was like I was about two years in wow. at that time wow. so that that propelled me I, I just started painting fucking everything like racked everything I could painted everything I could wow. bombed every inside I could I'd, I'd, I'd walk around with three pens permanently with refills on me so I could just refill Kiro on the central line and we'd just refill on this fucking bumpy central line, trying not to spill the ink everywhere, and just fucking, some, just I was just damaging everything I could possibly get my hands on. Crazy. To be fair, yeah. Wow. Uh, wow. Yeah, it propelled me to yeah. paint a lot fucking more. I've got representation yeah. in DDS, like fucking. Yeah. It gets stuck in. Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> yeah, going, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's have a fucking go. Yeah, I've had a, had a lot of DDS in, and they they, they... Yeah, we've noticed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 Standard. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> yeah, you should do, yeah. You're fucking running everyone through. Yeah, mate, it's decent. Honestly, it's, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, man. Straight oh, it's up. a proper fight. It wouldn't be right to not have you in, you know? Like, nice one. Come on, come <laughs> on. Come on. Um, so, you know, we've talked about the repercussions and all different, you know, mm. the glory days. You, 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 you kind of caught the whispers of that. You know, you were, it was, mm. you know, it was, it was a, it was a glorious time for, for DDS, wasn't it? Yeah, not not my end really. I think the real heavy duty DDS times for me looking at because DDS is from fucking a while ago. Oh yeah, before the nineties kicked mm. in by a scrape. Mm. Like, you'd have to fucking check with Sub like when he fucking mm. made the crew. Mm. But I think the the glory days of DDS is anywhere from sort of ninety four to could even tighten it down ninety four to ninety six for me. Mm. Zonk, yeah. Fume, fucking Ray, mm. uh, Teach, yeah, Cos yeah. and Zonk were just coming in at that time. <clears throat> Excuse me, Cos and Take were just coming in at mm. that time. Uh, oh, fuck me, the, mm. the list is endless. Mm. Mir, but it was more of a fucking, the VOP side, but they were all mm. super fucking active. And I'm getting a lot of this information from, at that time, mm. magazines more than actually knowing the boys now. And more than but, books. I was a, I was a yeah. graffitism fan, you know? Yeah, I, I was, yeah, same. I loved graffitism. I loved, graf I loved, yeah. the, I loved the balance it always brought, mm. you know, and I liked that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, the sliver of European still in it and a good amount of fucking... It was a London fucking magazine yeah. back then before we had the, the thicker version. But mm. even the thicker version was still half decent. But yeah. any graffitism from... I don't even know who issue one is, but yeah. any issue from sort of one to yeah. maybe 50 had good London writers on the cover. Yeah. So, I mean, it was a London-based like magazine. T-Kid as well. T-Kid was on the front line. Oh, like, yeah. <laughs> My boy hotted him up. <laughs> Big up Resky for that. No way. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. He actually, yeah, he did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you remember that? I had to tell Rex, I was like, come here, mate. Like, Teak is a big fucking guy. But, yeah, yeah. Do you know ooh. what I mean? Like, and I was like, come here, Rex. Like, fucking turn it in. Like, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'm not going to help you if you start smashing your head in. <laughs> I would have done that. Like, yeah. yeah. But Teak is cool. I, I, I thought he was, I thought I liked him. Yeah. I liked Teak Kid, actually. Yeah. He's a fucking rock star graffiti. He's a rock star. Like, one of those yeah, yeah. scenes. And Higher all that. Echelon. Yeah, yeah. Coke 2. You know I mean? these, yeah. these, these names that just, you think they're going to live forever because they're just yeah. gods, you know? Mm. Um, um, you, I mean, the way I was commenting with the DDS thing is because I know you're a big One Up fan, right? Oh yeah, fuck yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah yes I am. Yeah. I mean, they're a huge organisation, and there's no one individual. It's, mm. it's just this like organism that just yeah, moves. Yeah, One Up is the idea of the crew, same yeah. as Moa and ATG are kind of the same. Yeah, thing. there you go. Like the crew is, it's mm. not one part. It's like every part builds the fucking yeah. brand, as it were. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So there's no individual yeah. recognition. There is mm. within it, but the whole idea of those kind of crews mm. is push the crew. Yeah, it's, push it's the right. fucking crew. And that's a very European... I think I feel mm. like it's a European thing, that, isn't it? Um, because... Oh, yeah, definitely. You know yeah, I mean? of course. I can't even begin to think of... A crew that does it over here like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, ATG, ATG very much did. did. Yeah, they, yeah, they were 
one of yeah. the few that decided that the crew was bigger than the sum of its parts. Yes. So they pushed antagonizers hard. Yeah. But they all had their individual names and they pushed mm. their names, but above all, they were like, okay, this is who mm. we are. They come out as a full set unit. Mm. Very well organized, very, very good. And they were the and first they, ones to kind of put the t shirts out and the, 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 those kind of, that, they branded mm. it. To, oh, to yeah, yeah, that, yeah. ATG is still a brand. They've got yeah. dances and fucking yeah. God knows what else, you know what I mean? Um, there's definitely crews before that that had the same mindset, but yeah. in terms of um, uh, my era of graffiti, mm. as it were, um, they're the boys that really done the whole mm. crew thing. Yeah, ATG in London the, yeah. for me. H E H E G R T R T as well. Yeah, yeah. Them guys, they, that was yeah. your that that was your era, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, no, absolutely. Cool, yeah. yeah, vibes, towns. Um, Towns is very good now. Yeah. And Vibes, Vibes is amazing. Vibes is amazing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah, he's decent, isn't he? Town's fire, though. Oh, yeah, his shit yeah. is fucking lit yeah. now. Yeah. I remember yeah. painting St. John's with him, like, 2001. Mm. He's done some little square block thing, yeah, which yeah. was nice. Yeah. Like, he was better than me, and I just didn't like it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I just know what I mean, but now I look at his stuff and I just yeah I like his stuff a lot. Mm. Uh, he's he's a, he's a decent rail. Yeah, um, I, I I mean this is just from a, a total <clears throat> geek perspective. Like I I know nothing, but I do know. <laughs> but what I do feel is like when someone's got their letters, their straight letters sorted. I guess it mm. kind of evolves, and you can start adding more things oh, yeah. to it. Yeah, you can um, add to your yeah. your puzzle as yeah. it were. Yeah, develop yeah. it. Once you have like um. A solid base mm. outline, something your your go to, like mm. you can just write up or draw mm. or paint mm. without thinking. You can manipulate and adapt it, and you can grow it organically. That's right. It will it will naturally change over time. You had that, yeah. and I, I what I loved about your letters is there was some in some cases when you'd see them, they'd be quite separated. They'd be quite. Mm. sparse but there'd be space between them and you know you're not no one's having this wall here this is mine i'm putting that there that there like, we'll separate shit but you gave individuality each right each letter was almost humanized it had its own it was like its own character yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. oh yeah uh, that's yo that's right place. for those who don't know yeah listen peeks inside the place and uh yeah and yeah <laughs> It's it, it's true. It's true. It's like they they were almost like kind of funky. They were quite drunken looking mm -hmm. in, a, in, a, in their own way. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Fucking well, I couldn't make my letters fit. Like, yeah. I couldn't fucking do my tag across like writing it straight. So I down rocked because yeah. it just fucking fit easier. And um, because of the K, the K letter, it's just fucking. It's a cunt. Yeah, you know what I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I fucking. I love it because it's my letter, but I fucking hate it as well. It's a love-hate relationship with that letter. Loved your S's. Your S's were fire. Yeah, I don't mind an S. Like, I can do loads with an S. I don't have to think with an S. With mm. a K, even though it looks so simple, it just, mm. it's like fucking, it just does not compute. Mm. And it didn't compute into my word. It didn't fucking fit. So I just split the letters up and thought, mm. well, I'll just do you over there. Mm -hmm. you. <laughs> it's easy. I haven't got to make you fit to the eye. You dunce KU I mean, over there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, move up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, no, that's how I ended up with separate letters at the beginning. Mm. So I can put my letters together now. I can do what I want with my name. Mm. But back then it was just easier. Just yeah. separate your letters. And it takes up more space. Mm. So I just think of that as more wall done. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. No, and I'm see and, you know, over the years, seeing more colour coming into your pieces, mm -hmm. you know, more... Just more, it does feel like you you you've lived with the name, and it's kind of it has its it has its. You can see a kissed piece, you know what I mean? Um, oh yeah, which, um, I, which I kind of dig. They they look, um, you know, it's a kiss dub. Yeah, it, there's not much to it. It's yeah. clean. It's bold. It's not got a load of arrows and a ton of yeah. colours. Mm. I'm just I just like it clean. Yeah, you clear. like it. Can that's you right. Fucking read it. That's Can right. You see where I put it. Yeah, that's my job done. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> fuck all that. 20 fucking hours doing a fucking wild style yeah, shit. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm, I'm not built for it. Yeah. Let me just go fucking do a rooftop, mm. leave it there for you to look at, and mm. then I'll go and do another couple. <laughs> but that's a scene in itself. Oh. To get that right, to make that look mm. right, that's a that's part of the game, isn't it? It's like mm. making that fit and work. And Yeah, it could be. Mm. I've, there's been a load of times where I've been doing a dub and I've not liked it. Really? So I've just gone over it what myself. So what, redo it again, yeah? No, I just fucking scribble it out. Like, you don't even know what was there. Yeah. If I don't like what? it, I ain't leaving it out. Right, right. Well, you know, yeah, I get it. Uh, I get it. Yeah. I mean, everyone's their own worst critic. Mm. 
mm. in every discipline. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> well, of course, you know these are again retrospect. Is there anything? That, is there anything where you just any regrets? Anything that you could say to yourself? Ah, you know, had it been because I was that age and I had more, probably had more of an opportunity to have done it. Is there anything what you could could say? Oh, shit! I wish I'd taken opportunity or made a bit more of that or done a, this. Anything like that? Uh, I don't know. Uh, twenty twenty hindsight, and it's a bitch, and it's, it's what it is. Yeah, no, I'm thinking. Yeah, no, I'm fucking thinking. Slow down. Okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, <laughs> no, a couple of um, in terms of a graph sense, uh, there's a couple of yards I never got, mm. which I fucking should have done. Uh, G, never got that. Case went down there a boatload of times. I just kept not getting there. I never done F. I walked through F, climbed down some fucking mad way, walked all through the cunt. There was nothing in there. It was fucking pissed me off. So I went home, didn't get F. So there's a few yards I would have mm. liked to have done, or yeah, well, I would have liked to have done. Um, never done Brixton. I would have loved to have done that. Um, in terms of a graph sense, um, maybe paint more outside the country. Mm. I mean, mm. but I always think like, if I'm going to go to a city, I want to I want to be up. I don't want to fucking do your trains. Like I like walls, I like rooftops, I do like metal, mm. but it gets washed mm. within minutes. I can do a rooftop that'll be there 20 Yeah, I've always years. seen you as a wall writer. Yeah, definitely. Do, it's yeah. like that fucking thing. I went past something in Norwood the other day, it was like 03. Like, some of my kids have got grown, some of my friends have got grown kids mm. and that dub's older than them. <laughs> like, mm. I mean. yeah, yeah. yeah, like, look at this That's big crazy. kid. Like, my dub's older than you. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I, like sh I like longevity, mm. do you know what I mean? So if you do a campaign right, your name should last fucking 20 fucking years if you do the right walls. Whereas, don't get me wrong, you do the metal, and a load of us are metal writers, still writers, but I like I like the residual effect of graffiti. I like mm. it being seen 10, 15 years later. Yeah. So, I mean, that, that's, I get a buzz from that instead yeah. of doing the fucking, do you know what I mean, the militant fucking climbing into a mm. yard thing, which I do love. But I like my shit to fucking. Yeah. I like it to stay. There's a warm. There is genuinely. I and I guess mm. for somebody that doesn't do it so much, there's a warm nostalgic feeling, and and also you know I used to go away from going on road doing and touring and stuff, and I come back and it's like you know you'd see somebody of a familiar face on a wall, mm. you know, part of London to Tapestry. Oh just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to love that because it meant you were home. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I get that when I go into other areas. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm in your bits. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's nice. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, but in answer to your question, um, yeah, I probably would have liked to have painted more outside the country, mm. uh, to be fair. Um, but again, as I was saying, I'm, if I'm going into a city that's the right size, I'm only going to stay for like three or four days, just fuck your city up mm. and then get kicked out. Mm. Like, and then you won't be able to go back again. And it's yeah, like, no, uh, they're, they're not that fucking severe. Like if you get true. Nick doing graphing like your Amsterdam's or Belgium's, they're whatever, they're just fucking, they just kick you out, like yeah. take your passport for a day hold you for 24 hours and say, don't come back. Yeah. And they don't actually put it into the system. You can fly back fucking two weeks later. Really? So I mean, so... Mm. Unless you're a big hitter that just keeps fucking destroying metal and shit like that, they mm. might build a case against you in that region. But <clears throat> if I'm just vandalising your city, the likelihood mm. is they probably just fucking kick mm. me out, to be fair. So I would have liked to have painted um, um outside of London mm. a bit more. Um... Maybe bang more birds because I'm kissed. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's my fucking interview. <laughs> exclusive, exclusive. <laughs> no, I'm actually joking. I'm actually joking. Oh, no, um, it's that rock star shit, you know. Once you pop, you can't stop. It's uh, yeah, yeah, what a killer killer podcast brings yeah, in people. Yeah, there are some graphos out there. <laughs> mm. up. Um, do you, uh, yeah. Who do you rate? Who's who's out there at the moment? You're like, yeah, because right you know, now, yeah, yeah, <sighs> fucking hell. Um, <clears> hmm, <throat> that's a tough one. There's so mm. many fucking names. Um, I and mean, we talked about one up. We've talked about one up. Are we we're talking about... internationally? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, we're on an oh, international Jesus subject. Christ. Yeah, um, so we can we can open a, open a playing field. 
fuck, that's such a it's tough so question. Deep. Yeah, no, that is, that is so a deep. difficult one. And there's so many levels to graph. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. It's out you could charts look at now, like, fucking the crews are paying together like three A's yeah. and them. Bro, Instagram writers, you know what I mean? Like, because yeah, it really is, it's just genres there's, there's, now that are just, just like crazy. There's, there's so much out there, it's, it's a very difficult question to answer. Yeah. But if you're asking me who I rate, just standardly, yeah. um, known. Old type known, yeah. Yeah, definitely him. He yeah. was like one of the first names I started really, I was in that area, I, yeah. I zoned in on him. Yeah. Clean style. Good character, and he always yeah. went big. He he'd never done small, yeah. so I always rated that. He, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's unknown. A lot of people will know of him, or two of these guys. They're the same kind of mold. Mass, uh, M A S. He's from like like southeast somewhere. He's fucking the guy's invisible. I don't know. Never met him, but I was in Lewisham Station the other day. There was a mass twenty twenty tag on the platform. He, but he's he does. He's just in that little bit of London, but he's just been consistent for twenty fucking years. Stop even down it. to these little market. This is this is his favourite weapon of choice, that. So you'll see a little tag in like a pub toilet, little mass there. He's just he's on point. I rate him highly. Um Lom, who had the bear throw up. And um, he had one on Tottenham Court Road. Yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, you remember Lom? Oh. Yeah, isn't it? Like that bear when, was when Ill. I, was, I used to actually think he was the electric company, because he'd done his little fucking tag. <laughs> On the green boxes, I was like, "Why are the electric company writing that on all yeah. the green boxes?" Yeah. Then I realised who it was. That bear was um, like a throw up. That yeah, was just... that bear was fucking tight. I don't know where he's gone. I rate him highly. Cool. Um, you're the first person to bring that into my mind. He's good and in it, yeah, Lom, and he was he was everywhere, like mm. fucking. He was a hippie. He was before the he was before the the street art look. You know, before the mm. toasters, before that other. Oh before yeah, Banksy. yeah. He, he was doing that bear. That was yeah. That, that bear was, the was there from. Fucking date from the when I was started started. Yeah. It was that yellow fucking and it was always yellow. <laughs> yeah. Yellow, little down rock on yeah. the side of the fucking electric box. But it was I went round London twice and he was mm. he was everywhere, like every fucking corner. Mm. Um I love zombie stuff, love teacher All stuff, day. love mere stuff. Mm. Fuck me. Mm. Um Feud as well. He writes something else now, but Feud yeah, was a go to. Yeah. Um, Cos for his fucking consistency. consistency. Like, it's like, I think it's about, God, it's got to be like 25 plus years, yeah. but he does he does real damage yeah. every yeah. fucking year. Yeah. It's like you can't really keep up with someone like that. It's yeah. fucking, he's, he's, um, he's uh, yeah. a special writer just from yeah. just doing damage, just yeah. being a vandal for fucking quarter century. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's hard. It's no. hard fucking work. Um, <laughs> you, you got it down though. God, I was yeah. fucking. I'd big up almost. It's probably easier for me to say who I don't fucking like. <laughs> like <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. There, there's something about almost every writer that I will specifically like about them. Yeah. Uh, the, the list is fucking endless. Mm. Like, that list can go on forever. Mm. Um, it could go on forever. Mez R A mm. because he broke me inspiring. Uh, not mm. not. Spire DTB, my power Spire. Mm, 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 um, mm, mm. He, 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 or RA, um, him, mm. Ever, Rims, uh, they started taking us out racking, me and Spire. So they kind of taught us, like, this is how you get your paint to go and mm. do your painting. So, um, fucking love him. Um, rated ATG. Mm, mm. Fucking, pff, um, Christ. Mm-hmm. Aztec's walls of Insa, oh, Blasto Aztec. and shit like that. Them walls there. The whole time. Them two, I, I, they, they did some stuff for me for one of my albums. and mm-hmm. they, they did a massive wall with Solo One. And I just remember like, I just pinching myself like, fuck, <laughs> Aztec on one side and Insa on the other. And just like, <laughs> no doubt that would have been Blasto, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Christ, who else? Sorry. Oh, internationally, I love One Up. They're yeah. just a cohesive big unit. That Graph Olympics fucking video oh, yeah, yeah, thing yeah. they do is fucking... Nuts, nuts! Like mm. no, no one's really done that mm. kind of fucking thing. Mm. Um, oh, I like Goal from the US. Maybe not as known as anyone. Mm. He's just got a sank about him. I like. Um, oh, Mace in the UK, just fucking. Bro, people, fucking, sl- he's like it's. Fucking Mace, I need shit. you on here, man. Yeah, what fucking fuck? sick. Why people yeah. like? He's just like a lone lone star. Yeah, literally, he paints with people and that, but his stuff is fucking clean. Clean. Like, so uh, sick. Fucking, I've never seen anything. He's, he's just the cleanest guy out there. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I mean, you can find like something 
not a discrepancy, but you can find something in everyone, but you can't see it in his. No, no, like, no. His, his shit's fucking perfect. And, <laughs> and, and if you pull a bush away, he's still got his pieces there. That's the other thing as well. Oh, yeah, Underneath yeah, the yeah. the undergrowth, he's yeah. still, you see them creeping in, it's yeah. like he's still there. Yeah, for it's, real. You know, and it still holds test. It's, yep. it's still got his style still relevant. Uh, again, list is endless. Yeah. Fucking could go on. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Defy PS because he's my boy and he's yeah, yeah, just that. fucking he's got thumper fucking dubs mm-hmm. like his shit is fucking red hot um, mm-hmm. yeah there's fucking tons of people we have a trip down memory lane here boy yeah, well it's fucking it's just yeah. everyone's in there's there's a file for every fucking writer yeah, you know yeah. what I mean it's just what I like about him and don't like about him do you, do you fucking love it uh, yeah I do I always have done do you know what I mean I've been inactive essentially for fucking pfft, like a decade, like mm-hmm. I've done the odd bit here and there, but people are like, oh, what, do you still run? It's like, obviously, do you know what I mean? I'm just fucking doing other things right now. Yeah. So, I mean, you can't write every fucking day for 20 years. Mm-hmm. Like, you've got to fucking go get food to eat. Mm-hmm. Like, you might want to have a drink, got family to fucking see, whatever the fuck it is. Yeah, and I so, think, I, 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 I um, also feel like you... Yeah, you, I do love it. <laughs> it's yeah, the yeah. answer, yeah. It's in you, my blood. <laughs> you kind of step, you stepped away kind of gracefully. I feel like you, you really took it to the, you took it to the mountain. I feel like you yeah, took it that, to I, that place. I wouldn't even say I stepped away. It's not well, me. It's fucking, I got a fucking job. Yeah. Got to fucking commit to that for a couple of years and shit yeah. like that. Do you yeah. know what I mean? But it's still Life there. Shit. It's not ever going anywhere. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I might sit there and I'm fucking 40 something years old and feel, yeah. fuck it, I'm going to do a six month campaign. Bro, craft don't go anywhere. I mean, no, exactly. exactly. It's, it's yeah, never it's going never, anywhere. It's just what I mean. It's and like, he has to, people have to ask themselves. It's like your bike to... in the shed. Like, yeah, yeah. When you want to get out, you get out. People have to ask themselves the questions as why that is as well. Like there's a there's a real, and I've said it before on on the podcast. You know, mm. if those marketing head of marketing guys in the PR companies that do the brandings and stuff mm. sitting on the top of their their their, their tree mm. with their fucking wheelie back leather seat on the table, and they're telling you that they're not influenced by graph decades and decades and decades and decades of graph. And you're being influenced in all the marketing and all. Well, we the know world. that they are. You can see it in the fucking see advertising everything. these days. They've done it with. Um, Oh, I think it was a Volvo advert or some shit like that. But mm. um, they didn't. They used all this fucking. I forget who the writer was. Um, it was, just, it was, was it Ein that they used the? Uh, thing, no, right? I think these were some thing. European guys. But it was it was just this writer plastered all over this fucking Volvo advert, and mm. we ended up finding out that they hadn't paid the artist for the work and shit. Like, yeah. They didn't even co- yeah. consult the artist and shit like that. So they fucking there's yeah, lots of influence well, yeah yeah well, you can yeah. see it now they've got MSK all yeah. through McDonald's yeah. in fucking all over the place yeah. it's like you need to go to MSK and say yeah. you're McDonald's you're a fucking multi-billion pound company you're sticking up these placards yeah. Yeah. of graffiti that yeah. doesn't belong to you That that's actually a brand mm. that's a way well, it's an organisation they might not be yeah. profit driven but that's still value yeah, that's and right. it's owned by someone so McDonald's needs to buck up on that yeah, like, I real. yeah like literally I agree like and okay. MSK aren't no fucking small crew. They're yeah. they're a fucking they're a they're a, they're a animal. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. They're a fucking serious. It's fucking like animal. they're not going in on it with. Uh, they're not taking account for the, the the culture value of it. It's like they're, mm. you know, it's like it's appropriation of like yeah. having graph in because it looks cool. But mm. like, no, you've got it, to it, know your you've got to know your history. You can't just yeah. have. That. It's quite hard to contact some of these fucking people. But do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you should probably aim to do you mm. know what I mean I mean if I walked into a McDonald's and I saw Kistra stuff on plaid cards I'd go straight to McDonald's and be like that's my fucking name like mm. maybe not like that present it in the correct fashion through fucking paper mm. but like maybe you'd like to consult me on yeah. the usage of my name yeah. I mean it's the fucking same thing yeah yeah it's right so, I mean Downs. we could go as far as copyright infringement but not a lot of us actually copyright our names mm. yeah so do you know what I mean yeah yeah exactly intellectual property intellectual property so, yeah mm. Bro, I swear to God, it, it, it's and it's a it's a life saver in it. Graph, I think there's a lot more oh, deep, yeah. deeper root. It's, it's it has so much more uh, relevance now. You know what I mean? <clears throat> I think there's a lot of crazy things going on in the world, and it's it's mm. it's almost it's a, it's, a, it's a tension releaser in it for a lot of people. Oh yeah, it can be. I mean, yeah. sometimes you. Had a long week. Yeah. Go and paint some walls with your fucking buddies and yeah. drink some beers. You know what I mean? It's a good feeling, eh? Uh, right? mean, yeah, Graf definitely. I could have been doing fucking God knows what. Mm. I was, a, I was a terror. Do you know what I mean? Mm. I learned how to fucking handle myself, which means I could be a terror. Mm. Not that I was, but I mean, if I wasn't out racking paint and painting every night, 
I could be doing some fucking other shit mm. that might not be very good at all. So mm. graph is definitely um, a discipline. Mm. There's, even though it's, yeah, it's a discipline, do you know what I mean? Depending mm. on how you're going about it. Um, but it also kept me out of other shit. Mm. I mean, I was never some sort of drug dealing type or mm. fucking roadman gangbang or anything like that. But um, could have easily gone that way mm. if I wasn't out nicking painting and painting every night. I could have mm. been doing shit ten times worse mm. in my eyes. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So it's definitely um, uh, mm, how would I term that? Graffiti definitely gave me um, an occupation that was mm. far more um, safe, creative, mm. um, balanced, and friendly. And I, and with that as well, I've met some of my best mates. Mm. Most of my, a good percentage of my social circle is graph based at some mm. level. Do you know what I mean? Or well, from so, friendships to yeah, 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 drinking and pals and yeah, yeah, exactly, and fucking. Yeah. Some of these friendships go 20 something years in. Like, it's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, I know these boys and girls till the end. She, know, she, that's, those are your university years. Those are your kind of learning buddies that you kind of have shared experiences mm. with. It's good mm. shit. Yeah. yeah. We're not dead, which not is always a dead. touch. Yes, well, not dead. <laughs> here to chat with me, and I really appreciate you, Kate. <laughs> well so done. Kella, thank you for having me. Brother, it's been You're an absolute gentleman. Pleasure. Yeah, bro. <laughs> thank like, you. Fan for a long time, me. <laughs> yeah, fucking boy. Yeah, hold tight. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the mighty kiss, DDS inside the place. Once again, big shout to the audience inside. Say what up. What's up, man? There you go. Well, we're in like our fashion. Don't forget, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend, share, share, and like. Sharing is caring. Hey, old tight Big gang. Killer Kelly, off. Come on. <laughs> Kill again, fuck us. We're out. Thank you, Kate. <laughs> Peace. <That's it. laughs> yeah. Stay out of trouble. All right. Sweet. <laughs>